The Emperor of Ice Cream by Wallace Stevens, 1879-1955 Call the roller of big cigars, the muscular one, and bid him whip in kitchen cups concupiscent curds, let the wenches dawdle in such dress as they are used to wear, and let the boys bring flowers in last month's newspapers. Let be be finale of seam, the only emperor is the emperor of ice cream. Take from the dresser of deal, lacking the three glass knobs, that sheet on which she embroidered fantails once, and spread it so as to cover her face. And if her horny feet protrude, they come to show how cold she is and dumb. Let the lamp affix its beam, the only emperor is the emperor of ice cream. Okay, this poem is The Emperor of Ice Cream by Wallace Stevens. Um, Stevens was a modernist poet. He's an American. He went to Harvard um, and worked as an executive for an insurance company. Um, he's very definitely a modernist poet. And uh, this poem, I think, is a, a, a good example um, of modernist poetry. Um, Okay, so, The Emperor of Ice Cream, what's this about? Well, it's a poem about somebody who has um, died, an old lady that's died, and it's talking about the preparations for the funeral. But I think at another level, this poem is talking um, about uh, enjoying life, that we should enjoy life, we should enjoy the feelings and the sensations of life because it's the only thing that we have control of um, and I think this emperor of ice cream this is trying to have control over things which it's ridiculous to have control over you can't be the emperor of ice cream all over the world yeah so let's see call the roller of big cigars the muscular one and bid him whip in kitchen cups concupiscent curds. So call the big chap, the big muscular chap, who makes big cigars. I was thinking big cigars should normally come from Cuba, so maybe he's a Cuban. Yeah, but call the big muscular man. Yeah, the one who makes the big cigars and bid him and ask him to whip curds. Um... Curds are um, curds of milk, um, congealed bits of, uh, of milk to make ice cream in, uh, in kitchen cups. So con concupiscent, um, lustful, full of, full of lust, full, big and strong and, and healthy and uh, uh, full of enjoyment. Um, so get him to... to whip some uh, cream uh, in kitchen cups yeah get him to make this notice this is um, a uh, um, uh, alliteration kitchen cups concupiscent per curds k -k -k -k. let the wenches dawdle in such dresses as they are used to wear so notice, as they are used, I would say, to wearing nowadays, but this is old-fashioned. So let the wenches, let the women continue to wear the dresses that they usually wear. The women don't have to dress up in special dresses. A wench, a serving girl, um, a lowly word for a woman. And let the boys bring flowers in last month's newspaper. So get the, tell the boys to bring flowers wrapped up in the newspapers from last month. Let be be finale of scene. Let reality triumph over illusion. Let what be uh, 
be the important thing. Let this be more important than what seems to be. The only emperor is the emperor of ice cream. So there's only one emperor in this world, the emperor of ice cream. But clearly this is ridiculous. Yeah. Um, enjoy your time. Enjoy the senses. Enjoy the ice cream. Take from the dresser of deal, lacking the three glass knobs, that sheet on which she embroidered fantails once. So a dresser is a bit of furniture and deal is a cheap wood. So take from the wooden dresser, uh, which is missing three glass knobs. So it's used, it's a bit used and it's a bit broken. Um, get that sheet on which she embroidered, she sewed fantails. I think fantails are the tails of birds once. And spread it so as to cover her face. Cover her face, cover the dead body. This is the dead body of the woman. And if her horny feet protrude, they come to show how cold she is and dumb. So this, and this is saying, if her cover her face with it and if her feet stick out well they show they will show you that um uh that she's dead and cold that she will this will remind you that she's dead and she can't speak anymore and death is the end of everything and therefore we ought to enjoy ourselves we ought to carpe diem seize the day let the lamp affix its beam uh, fix the light so that they shine as brightly as possible. The only real emperor is the emperor of ice cream. So this this poem, it's um, really quite, quite a, I think, quite a strange one. It's taking place at a funeral um, where they are trying to um, work out what to, what to do and ha what people ought to do and how people ought to deal with this. Um, and the, the speaker's giving instructions in the second verse for what to do to the body. And I think this is talking about life and death. And we ought to focus on the experiences and pleasures in the world, such as the taste of ice cream. Yeah, um, because this is the opposite to the dumb cold of death. So live life to its fullest, because death is inevitable. Savour the pleasure and joy. Eat that delicious ice cream. That's what matters. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. The Emperor of Ice Cream by Wallace Stevens.